Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna tell you all about Fuse's best and worst things. All right, so let's jump right into it. I'm gonna tell you guys his five best things and his five worst things. So I'm gonna start with the best, you know, good news first. So number one is the grenades are actually useful with this character because personally, I've never really picked up grenades before I started using Fuse. I mean, first of all, you can stack two. Well, back in the day, of course, you could stack two. That was really sweet, but now you can only stack one unless you're Fuse. And I like his uh, passive that you can shoot it further and faster. So that's pretty cool. I think that's one of his best things uh, about him. You know, that grenades are actually kind of useful. So a second thing is he can lock down areas pretty well, just like a Caustic or a Watson or a Rampart. As you see right here, I lock down this area right in front of me so they can really come here. I can just safely heal up in this corner. And yeah, that's what's pretty sweet about him. He can lock certain areas down if you want to sit in a building and a team is going to push you, but quickly shoot your fire bomb at them so they cannot push. You got time to heal. You got time to, I don't know, get together or whatever you want to do. It's this caustic right here. He locked down that area with his gas, but I can do the same with my fire. You know what I mean? So I think that's pretty good about him. And yeah, pretty short answer, but that's uh, as good as it gets, really. All right, so one of his third specialties is that he can provide visual cover. And what I mean by that is like a Bangalore or a Caustic or whoever else can have visual cover, you know? So if you shoot your fire bomb in front of you or next to you and you revive your teammate, well, not in it, but, you know, next to it. So the fire kind of gives you cover from the enemy. So they don't really see you well. It's pretty tough to see through the fire, especially when you're resing down on the ground. So, uh, yeah, I think that's really useful tip so if you want to res your team it's same as the horizon alt my friends be doing that a lot they threw the horizon alt on me so it's really tough to see through there while they you know for enemies while they are resing me or while resing them so i think that's a pretty good thing to use with fuse's ability as well as you can see right here this bangler tried you know with the fire grenades or the smoke but it didn't really help what well, it might have been my teammates as well but <laughs> You know, things like that can just give you great cover, even if it's not necessarily a smoke, what is actually used to give you cover. All right, up next we have is ability and ultimate can be used for both offense and defense. So if you want to play a little more aggressive, you can do that with Fuse. You can use his ability mid gunfight. As you're seeing right there, I could have used my ability to stun both of them on the ground, but I thought it was a little too ballsy personally, so I didn't do it, but you can't do it. You know, if you want to be a real pro, use his grenade mid-gunfight. That's some ballsy shit, but hey, if you pull it off, that could be clutch. And same as with his ultimate. You can be really aggressive with him. So let's say you're chasing a team or a team is camping somewhere in the open. You already know what you're going to do. Just shoot the fire like I did right here around them and yeah, just trap them in there and, and fry them. You know, I've seen a lot of people do the strategy with Horizon, Caustic and Fuse. That's a death sentence right there. Imagine Horizon throws her ult. Three of the people get in there. Caustic throws his bomb right in the middle. And Fuse put, puts his ring of fire right around it. Y you're, you're gone. You won't get out of there. That's some OP stuff right here. But as you see in the gameplay right here, I'm using my trying to use my grenades and abilities as effectively as possible to really optimize Fuse's character. You know, not just play him and not do anything with him. So... Yeah, I uh, I like I like that about him. The final thing, the final best thing about Fuse already, guys. That's it's really simple. He's an overall, you know, well put legend. He's pretty solid. I wouldn't say he's uh, you know as good as Horizon or Gibraltar or Caustic, but he's definitely not bad. I, I put him in the middle somewhere, to be honest. Just like Crypto and Octane, I think he's pretty uh, pretty solid. So his final best thing is really simple, and that's just he has a cool personality and some awesome legendary skins and some pretty funny finishers as well. So, so yeah, I think you can really have some fun with Fuse and just have a few good games. If you want to main him, go for it. It's a solid option. You can become a really good player with Fuse alone, but, you know, I wouldn't say he's in a top tier, to be honest. So, yeah, that's my top five best things about fuse they're not ranked by any means they're just five really good things about him and that i personally like let me know down in the comments if you 
you know, know any other things about Fuse that you really like. It doesn't even have to be gameplay related. Like I said, it could be his quotes, his finishers, his banners. Okay, well, not his banners, but his skins, you know, it could be anything like that. I think uh, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. As long as you have a legend you can be good with and have fun with. All right, so now we're going into the top five worst things about Fuse. All right, so my first one is both the ability, the passive, and the ultimate all take aim. And if you have garbage aim, then Fuse is not the legend for you. Because you gotta be pretty accurate with all of his things. You know, his grenades are a lot more, f like, a lot faster, but they go a lot further. So you really have to aim it, uh, as you see right here, with how I'm doing it right now. You gotta aim it well, or else it's just literally pointless. Same as, a as his ability. You gotta put that shit right onto people, or else it's not doing anything. And of course, final is ultimate. If you missed, you could really miss that and actually screw it up for yourself. You can kill yourself with your own ultimate, and you don't want that to happen. So you really have to aim with him. And yeah, if your aim is bad or, or, or you know it's, it's not your day, <laughs> then just don't play Fuse because you need quite a solid aim to uh, play him well. I was thinking this, this other um, specialty that he doesn't have that other legends do, like, you know, you can think a lot of them, but this legend cannot really run away or, or have a panic card or provide cover instantly if necessary, you know? Like I said, you can provide visual cover with his ultimate, but you only have his ultimate every now and then, and then, you know, it's only once, and if you screw that up, if you, if you miss your ultimate to provide cover for yourself, then you're screwed. Now, it's not a Wraith, you can just Void away, or a Horizon, you can, you know, beam up to the sky, or, or a Bangalore that can just smoke and run away. So, that's kind of the problem with Fuse. You gotta use him in a tactical way, or else it's not gonna work out, because his Legend, um, yeah, it's not made for playing as an aggressive solo player. You know what I mean? So, I think he's more for teamwork than to play solo. That's what I suggest. Okay, so my next thing is grenades and the ability can be unpredictable. What I mean with that is, you know, you don't know what the enemy is gonna do. So let's say your grenade, well, it's a fairly good spot. You're like, oh shit, okay, that's gonna do some damage. But it's not. The enemy dodges it or the enemy goes uses some sort of ability to dodge it, you know? So it can be unpredictable. Even if you think it's gonna do damage, it might not. You know what I mean? So, you can always rely on the grenades to do damage or, I don't know, let's say, um, I don't know, like, somebody's resing in a room, right? And you throw two grenades in there, you think, guys, push up, push up, I hit him with the grenade, even though it's not gone off yet. Let's say you do that. Usually you wait for the grenade to go off, but, you know, let's just use it as an example. A lot of times, grenades you can easily dodge. Let's say you're in a room with a few boxes, but the grenade rolls behind a box. You go sit behind a box, the grenade does nothing, even though you think it will. So, in that sense, they could be pretty unpredictable. You shouldn't rely on them, just use them as a bonus, as it should. You know, I guess that's, that's what I would call by uh, unpredictable. Another thing is what I personally use for grenades. Um, like when people are hiding behind doors, I usually throw, throw a termite behind the door so it burns them, but it doesn't always burn them, which is kind of frustrating. It destroys the door, but I want it to burn them too, you know? All right, so what I'm doing on screen right now is I think this is one of his best things to do with Fuse is just to shoot that ultimate right into a room. Uh, well, preferably a smaller room than this one, and it could just obliterate the enemies. So yeah, I think that's a very useful tip to keep in mind when you're playing Fuse. If a few enemies are camping in a room, just literally blast it in there and there will be a high possibility that they will be burned to death. Right in that little room, just by your alt alone. So another one of his uh, negatives is, his alt could be used against you. Unlike Caustic, I'm using Caustic a lot of as, a, as an example, but he's freaking OP. <laughs> but you know, as Fuse, you can burn yourself it kind of sucks. With some legends, it's not like that. With Revenant, his own balls 
cannot hurt you or uh, what's it called yeah like caustic his own gas cannot hurt you with fuse you can hurt yourself which kind of sucks i understand why physics but you know who cares <laughs> It would be pretty OP though, not gonna lie. But yeah, that's a, a negative, I guess, about him that, you know, you gotta watch out for your own fire. Alright, so his final thing, and this is a pretty general thing, is that Fuse is pretty slow. He doesn't have anything to make him faster, and I don't know, he just feels a, quite a bit bulky. You know, he's no Octane or Horizon like I was playing with, so it's very hard to keep up with um, faster legends. Fuse is a legend, you really have to try and mix well with your squad. So let's say you're playing... Let's say you're playing a Caustic. Oh, Caustic again. Jesus. Caustic, alright. Well, let's use just Caustic again as an example. Let's say you're playing Caustic and Bangalor. It could be fairly good with Fuse, but if you're playing Wraith and Pathfinder, Fuse is not going to be that good for you. But yeah, really try to mix Fuse with a good squad for your team. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much my top five best and worst things in no order about Fuse. Let me know in the comments if you have any more, you know, best or worst things about him that you want to let me know, because I'm pretty curious. This is what I could think of. Honestly, I would give Fuse a solid mm, seven out of ten on the skill of Legends. A seven is pretty solid. Maybe it could be a 6. I, I haven't played him that much just yet, but I think he's a, a 7 for now. He's not really broken, but he's definitely not overpowered or anything, so... But yeah, I, I, a 7 is pretty good for me. Let me know what you all think down in the comments, and thank you all for watching. That's it for now. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Peace out, guys.